exited you from the screen. But we are live. So, yeah. So keep, Linda, show us what you were just showing us. Oh, okay. So I, I like to use this double-sided paper. So I printed this out on my printer this morning. Nice. And what I do, what I do, I need, um, it, with these impossible boxes, the top part needs to, needs to be like a designer paper. So this, when I use this type of paper and I flip these boxes, you know, this comes up. Mm, I think you have it upside down. There you go. I do. <laughs> <laughs> see, it comes up and down. Here's the, you can see the. Yeah. Okay. And why is it called an impossible box? Because no one knows how to open it. I get, I, made, I, I went to the trouble this Christmas to make these boxes for some of my for my grandson's um, gift certificate, I gave him some other things, but I had his gift certificate in one of these that was more, I, I designed it to be more um, cube, cube like. You know? Right. And yeah. he ripped it apart. I said, Oh, oh Ethan, wait, wait, let me oh, show you how to do that. Oh, geez. <laughs> but Valerie, I bought her some of the Bath and Body Works um, moisturizer. I think that was an eight ounce bottle. And so I had a nice tall one. And she, you know, was able to remember. But this part you have to flip over. So it's nice to have designer paper when you flip it over on the back instead of just a white back all the time. You know right. I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I have, we I have a visitor today. Hi. This is Jude. Wait, wait a Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Wait. Ah, oh, it's Tammy, we're doing. You go ahead, Tammy. We're doing it at the same time. We keep. There you there go. go. Oh, oh. You. hi. Nice. So he's uh, him and his sister. One of his sisters has stayed over last night because we've got a holiday in um, Melbourne today for Labor Day, and then tomorrow on Tuesday the school has a curriculum day, so they don't have school, so they're staying two sleeps. Yep. Oh. <laughs> His glasses remind me yeah. of Harry Potter glasses. Is he yeah, they're like Harry Potter glasses. Harry Potter glasses, yes. Does he like Harry Potter? Do you like Harry Potter? Yeah. He do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's more into Mario and uh, Luigi and stuff. So oh, yeah. Yeah. So did you see what Tammy just showed? We got Gladys from Ireland. Hi, Hi Gladys. Gladys. Hi, Gladys. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Hey, Joni. And, and Joni, yeah. Is, is Joan here? Joan? No, no Joni is. Oh, she, she hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell who's here unless they say something. Hi, everybody. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't see. You two can see, can't you, is coming in, but we can't see. No, uh, we, we can only see the people in chat. We can see yes, people we can here, but we can't see yeah. who it is. <clears throat> so... So Gladys, are you a card maker over there in Ireland? And Joni, I know you make a couple cards. Well, hi, hey, Joni, did you finish your? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Because you put a picture of it. Oh, her Just, spaceship, uh, her little grandkids inside. Yeah, the spaceship one, yeah. That was so cute. I loved it. I have on this cricket shirt I made a long time ago. Do you, does anybody remember that? Yeah. Video. Oh, yes. but the reason why I like this one so much is because this is that flock and it's yes. oh, yeah. so soft. It's like velvet. I love this shirt. One of my cricket nice. favorites. Cricket low. So, okay. Well, I guess we're about ready to get started. <laughs> um, so I'll introduce Tammy this time. So to my, <laughs> to my, over there, over there. <laughs> over there, it's, yeah. To Tammy, it's yeah. Tammy, my partner in crime. So, Tammy, introduce yourself, please. I'm Tammy. I'm from Mobile, Alabama, and it's 56 degrees today and quite windy. And by the way, uh, everybody's had to turn their clock ahead, I guess, except for Stephanie and Bernie, right? Y'all didn't do that yet, did you? No. Or no. So the reason why we changed this to four o'clock today is because it would have been 5 a.m. for you, Bernie? No. Um, yes, what? it's now seven for me now. Yes. Right. So it would have been. No, it would have been six. Six. However, we swap, we go back an hour in the first weekend in April. 
So that's when it will become, would have become 5 a.m. for me. Oh, so you think it'd be better if we just change it to four o'clock if that works for everybody? It but I don't know, me. Stephanie, yeah. you should be in bed, right? No, <laughs> Stephanie will be, nine it'll still be eight o'clock, oh. won't it? I'm still eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock now, but it'll be nine o'clock yeah. when she changes. Yeah, but we, our clock's changing a fortnight. We go forward in two weeks. I know there's only a couple of weeks that we're sort of, I think we needed a math lesson, Tammy and I, today. Because <laughs> when, when I first told Stephanie, I said, I don't think anything will change for you. I said, we're the only one going to be changing, so you'll stay the same. And she said, no, it'll be 9 o'clock. And I thought, I'm so confused because why would you change the word just because we're changing? You know, and I thought to myself, well, I don't understand it. I'm confused. And then no. she messaged me today and said, no, it's the same time. I said, oh, yeah. I was going back instead of forward. So I said, oh, by the time I finished, I don't know where. <laughs> but I don't know that other people... I didn't know that other people also did that across the country, across the world. Like Bernie, I didn't know in Australia y'all did that with the clock or you also, Stephanie, in the UK. I didn't know you guys. I thought we were only the dingbats that messed with our clocks and drove us all nuts. <laughs> Scott, oh, old does. Uh, Queensland and Western Australia doesn't here. So oh, that's crazy. crazy. Oh, my goodness. Crazy well, we had states here that didn't do it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, okay. there was a couple of states here that didn't do it. So, Johnny, there's your answer for Patty. I had a cold cup. My husband just brought me a nice warm cup. And actually, I've whoever was saying Dunkin' Donuts, it's, it's a Dunkin' Donut cup. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> and Gladys said she is a card maker, a beginner, but she's a card maker. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And I, ha I have mom. another visitor now. Come here. That's my grandma. Oh, oh, another. This is Molly. Hi. Hey. Hi, Molly. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. She's the same as you, Stephanie. It's 8 p.m. in Ireland. Yeah, Ireland's yeah. the same as us, yeah. <laughs> it's in Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland. Gladys, what are you in Northern or Southern Ireland? Oh, okay. And anyway, while she while she's hearing that, we'll ask Bernie over there. To introduce herself. I'm Bernie. I'm in Melbourne in Australia. It's 7.08 a.m. here. Um, and I think today we've got another 28 degrees. So that's up about your 90, I think. I think it's, it was like we've had like that for now a couple of days. And I think it's going to remain like that for a few more days. And y'all were closer to 100 for a while there, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 28 degrees is 82.4. There you go. Okay. And now Linda down that way. Yeah. Hi, I'm I don't know how the Brady Bunch did all this because you can't see where you're supposed to point. Oh, sorry, Linda. Go ahead. That's okay. I, I live in Maryland, um, little county called Howard County. And we had we had a snowstorm yesterday to beat off no storm telling you it was just uh, like a blizzard today it's sunny and it's 36 degrees yesterday it was in the 20s and we had about four inches and it was very blustery and windy and today mm. I, I walked outside and i was like where did this snow? i mean there's still snow on the ground and the trees but the driveway was completely cleared and i said to jay did you did you clear the driveway and he said no the sun did oh. <laughs> so anyway nice to see you all Okay, and last but not least, Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I live in, Pre well, outside, a little village outside Preston in Lancashire in England. Um, springtime, here's so all the daffodils and crocuses and snowdrops are all out, which look beautiful, but it's still quite cool and crisp, although it has been dry and sunny today, but quite breezy. But I think Gladys will probably know more about our weather than... Um, than in the US and, and Australia. It's, it's still quite cool here. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh oh, someone's sneaking up behind you, Bernie. <laughs> oh, they're on the desk, Molly. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just kidding. Okay, so Tammy, maybe you can tell what they're going to do. <laughs> so today we asked everybody to just make whatever they wanted as long as it was made out of paper, whether it's a card or box, a basket, a purse, whatever. So that's what they're going to do. Y'all ready? Yeah. 
Oh, well, I think they are. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. Gladys says she's from Southern Ireland. Oh, oh. really? Where about? CO Wexford County, Wexford. I don't know. What Wexford. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Lovely. All right. Right. We're good to go. Um, so starting with Bernie, what did you decide you were going to make today? A card? I'm making a card because I've got a friend that's got a little boy's birthday coming up. So I'm going back to a card, which is very unusual for me up till I started doing digi chicks. I never really made cards. I was more into paper craft. So next time I might do something with paper craft. Um, but this card's a 10 inch by five. I've called it a trifold pop up. Um, now I don't know. It's got I mean, score marks. I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the white. So it's got a score mark here at the two and a half inch, a score line at the five, and then this is cut out. I've sent the file to Patty Ann. We can work out how we can share it. So this part pops up and then the card, um, this folds over. So I'm actually going to add my layers first today. I think it might be easier than doing it when it's folded. So my theme today is an underwater theme. So I've gone with some blue glitter and some, um, and then some uh, underwater things that I found on Creative Fabrica, which Patty Ann will put the link up. And actually, if you can see it, I think y'all can. If you scroll way up to the beginning of the chat, we have both links there. And we'll put it under the video after it's done processing as well. Uh, Bernie, is that glitter paper? It's glitter cardstock. So glitter it's quite paper. thick. Yes. But I did have I did have a plan that I was going to put vinyl on here. Um, and the only one that I had that was like a glittery, underwatery one was a uh, heat vinyl. And I practiced on Saturday with it and my car, I haven't, I think I threw it away. The card was all warped and bent from the heat. So I ditched that and I've gone back to car. Okay. I'm going to interrupt for just a second. Cause you'll get a kick out of this. Jackie says, Hey ladies in Pennsylvania, so much Maryland's weather. She's sitting in home Depot parking lot waiting on her husband. <laughs> Welcome. Glad you're watching us from home Depot parking lot. <laughs> Funny. All right. Okay, who else wants to say what they're going to work on today? I want to show you this before I finish it. So you know, it's, it's a kind of a tip. Okay, wait one second. Hey, Tammy, you want to be in charge of spotlighting so we don't... I can if you'd rather me, whatever. <laughs> no, I just didn't want to do it at the same time. I know, right. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got my hands in a Ziploc, paper, a Ziploc plastic bag, and I, I'm... Since uh, St. Patrick's Day is this week, I needed some gold coins. And when I punch these out, they go everywhere because there's not a cover on the back. So I put them in a Ziploc bag and I, I punch along. I punch on my little coins. That's a fabulous tip. Very <laughs> conveniently. <laughs> they don't fall. They don't fly on, you know. All right. In the air. on the fire. I don't find them on the floor. <laughs> And it's a good way for me to use up these little teeny scraps of paper. I just go around and around, and I cut off the dots, and then I do the next next round. See, I already have these. I've already done all these. Oh, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to pass that on. I'm going to be making a, um, it's called a, mm, it's kind of a polygon cube. Um, this shape is polygon and it's, it holds, um, Hershey nuggets. Ooh, I decorated cool. this one, um, uh, more than I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I put a, um, a vellum just for you on the back. Um, I made the flowers with, uh, some tools that I'll show you. And, uh, yeah. So, and here it had, there's a, an opening over here. You can you can make your opening almost anywhere, and this is what the inside looks like. It's all all a matter of like folding. So I've got I've got a patterns to show you, and I will fold one online. You know, as we're as we're working this afternoon and decorate it. And you said that we're going to have that file to share with everyone also. 
Yeah, let me show you really quick. I made it for you. So this is this is what it's gonna look like right here. Here's this is what it's gonna look like. Okay. And when you put this into your silhouette, you are going to be just scoring this. When it comes out, you cut you kind of cut out the, the the hashed areas. See the hash lines, the diagonal lines everywhere. And then you know, you fold the flat, the, the score lines will be there for you to be, do your folding. And, you know, I'll show you online. Um, another, um, there, were, there were several other people who made these online. And I, the only thing I did was transfer it into my silhouette. Perfect. So, nice. Yeah. And here's another photo of it. Yeah. This is without the, the lines where you're not supposed to you're supposed to cut this area. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. all. <laughs> Tina says she's never seen a box like that. What a pretty box. And Mar says, hello from Texas. Hi, Mar. <laughs> okay, and Joni yeah. said, that's funny, Jackie, because her husband's usually waiting on her at Home Depot. We all knew Steph. But I'm making a box card. So this is going to be a box when I've finally made it that is going to hold a bar of chocolate. Oh. Yeah. And then the card's on top. And it's actually an Easter card for my grandson because I thought he always gets money for Easter and we buy him an Easter egg, but he's older now. So I thought there's more chocolate in the bar of chocolate than there would be in the Easter egg. So he'll get that. The card will have a pouch in for the money, but he'll have You'll have a block of chocolate as well at the back of the card. Oh, so awesome. hopefully that'll work out okay. <laughs> huh. Tina just got the cameo for it, which she loves. She still loves her cameo too. Uh, which one do you have, Tammy? The three or the two? I have a three. Oh, okay, couldn't remember. I still love it too. Oh yeah. Now she has two machines to work. Yep. That's what we do. <laughs> Let's look at Bernie's for a sec. I I wonder can you uh go to Bernie's? There we go. Hey Bernie, fold that up one time. That looked really cool when you kind of closed it a little bit. Uh oh, she's she's muted. Hey, Bernie, wait a minute. You're muted. Uh -oh. Sorry, I'm muted because we have a dog in here that's a bit excited to see two children. And he's oh, and your dog is so adorable. Yeah. I saw that. And he has, a, he has a very one. rapid tail that keeps banging on furniture. So you'll have to excuse the background noise. Um, <laughs> so I put my glitter card stock on. Um, and then this is the bit that was cut out. So I folded on this half line here. So that folds the card in half. But because it's got a cut and another score here, this bit I fold it up. So it creates this. It creates where am I here? Oh yeah, nice. So there that sits up and then the card folded over. And because it's cardstock, I've just gone over with my bone folder on the back just so I didn't rub off any of the glitter and just scored those, buffered those um score lines quite deeply so that i end up with a card that looks nice like that oh love it That's so did you make card. this up yourself or did you find this i saw a picture on pinterest couldn't find anything anywhere so i made it myself oh my gosh your brain just works so well doing and that and then kind of this stuff. bit fold this is the bit that folds over mm. um so this bit here i will burnish so now the card this is the i called it a uh, trifold and flip card or whatever I called it. So it's got the fold, so it now looks like that. So that was the two and a half inch score line, that was the five inch score line, and then this little bit was the bit that cut and scored. So it now sits like that, the card. So when it folds over, that's the pop up part. Nice. So it's trifold pop up. Hmm. Love the Shall color we... of the glitter card. Oh, yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Very beautiful. Very but you, know how we, you know how sometimes the colors look funny. It's probably really pink and it looks blue to us, right? <laughs> no, it's blue. It's supposed to be my theme today is underwater, so it's supposed oh, to that's be right. like the ocean. Yeah. 
So uh, Jackie said that I think she means her. she and her husband are creating, they're making a frame with paper elements and photos for some friends as a wedding gift. Ooh, are you on Facebook, Jackie? You need to share it with us there so we can see what you've made. Okay, Linda, let's see what you're doing there, guys. Is this the pattern that we're getting for the? So far, this is the this is my base. This is a this is going to be this is the tricky part. Then you, after you let me see, do I have this done right? Yeah. Um, after you after you cut out this um, template, I have a question. So yeah. you said that you just cut. I mean, score with your silhouette. Yeah, why I didn't. Why I, didn't I didn't. Go ahead. Why didn't you also cut it with your silhouette? Well, I should have, but I just, there were so many lines. I just couldn't figure out. And I, I just, okay. <laughs> I just didn't want it. I didn't have the time to figure out. Gotcha. Okay. But, but it's so easy. It's such a little bit to cut. Right. But so then I, look then at I, those scores yeah, though. Wow. You just, you just fold everything. I want to show you, this is, I, I adapted the size too. This is a larger one. See? Isn't that cool? Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a more, and this one, yeah, also, oh, yeah, look how many, I gotta show you, look how many Hershey Kisses that would hold. I mean, oh. look, this has got two, four, this has five, but you can actually fit six into here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to let you know that one of these bags of Hershey Kisses, I mean, Hershey Nuggets, where did I put the bag? Um, oh, here it is. These, these Hershey Nuggets, um, there are, let's see, you can have three of them for 150 calories. <laughs> <laughs> and, they're, and they're pretty, they're pretty substantial. And then, okay. um, so it's the serving size, three pieces, and there are nine servings. So three times nine is 27. So you can actually make, if you, if you want to put, well, I guess, oh, well, I know what I want to, so it would take, you can put like four in here, you know, four in uh, two. you can make seven of these if you put four wow. in each. But um, let me show you something else real quick. Um, where did I put it? Oh, I'm also making this to show you guys today. It's a little nugget. It's a, it holds three Hershey Kisses, this little nugget holder. That's why I was making the, um, the little gold coins. So oh. that you can put them in the, um, see, cause oh. this holds three and they they fit in there real nice and tight and when i made all these little elements for this i i printed them on my printer and i got it from where did i get this oh i got this from creative fabrica okay these little elements and then um um i put them the page that was had the registration marks into the and i also sized these down this was actually a picture of the rainbow coming out of the pot and it was there was like a pile of coins with Aww. you know i just i cut it up and made it made it work for this project but anyway um um so i laminated this i put it in the laminating folder like you know and it read the registration marks just fine nice. i like i like that shine oh i do too yeah it looks real finished uh-huh so, Lynn, are you tempted to eat any of the chocolates while you're making this? I can, I would. I'd be, you know, I'd have half that bag eaten if I weren't on this Weight Watchers diet. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Here's another one I made. Yeah, let's, let me show you how. Look how nice they, they fit in so snug. And when you put them in, just a hint, if anybody makes one of these, um, you see how the wrapper, the direction of the wrapper, make sure the direction of the wrapper is away from your opening. Yeah. And then the next one you put in this direction facing up and you make sure the wrapper's away from you. Okay. And then the third one, you make sure the wrapper's away from you. And you put in, Aww. and look at that nice, look how snug that is. It does not, oh, not come out. So you can make, and so you can make these for your, um, 
you know, people, you you know, your if people come to your house and deliver your Amazon, yeah. or, you know, I, I mean, anything, anybody. It's pretty for wedding showers or baby showers or something, little yeah. things to give out. Oh, sure, sure. Birthday part favors, you name it. And now, then, where did you get that slogan or that sentiment? Now, I I just, um I used just, um, what did I do? Oh, I used, you know what, Patty Ann? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is called a printmaker. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I really like it a lot. <laughs> I made a, I made, I made a whole. Oh, I made so many of these. Look, see, Cute. I made, a, and I put a little, the little shamrock there, and then right. I, uh, I made a whole page of these just for different occasions, and then I put this, uh, you know, just because the Irish flag is orange, white, and green, I put that here so that I could decorate the box. Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh, Gladys will be pleased. What's that? You want Gladys to be will be pleased. Gladys will be pleased. Yes, from Ireland. Yeah. Oh, Gladys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's rather really easy to make because you can take a piece of eight by eight and a half by eleven paper and make four of them. Oh, so that, wow. that I just love the idea that um, you could make so many. Yeah. From one sheet of paper. Okay, so, so far what you've done is you've printed off that thing, it scored it with your machine, and then you cut along the cut lines, and then you're you're folding it. Yeah. So and this is got to keep is, refreshing so that people that want to make it, they'll know what to do. This is tricky. You see this part that looks like a diamond? I see that part, yeah. Okay, they're like two diamonds. The outer one is a mountain fold, and you just look. You just do it very gently like this, okay. just like that. Right. You go all the way around like that. Just so the gently. outer on all, oh, okay. Outer, outer part of the diamond is a mountain. And then you go all the way around. I, and then the inner, oops, I didn't, I didn't do the right one there. I'm nervous. Okay. Ah. And then the inner, the inner diamond is a valley. So I'm going to turn that over to make my valley. And you just work it. You do it, you work slowly because, you know, you just don't want your paper to, to tear because, you know, the angular parts, you know, where they meet together, like, right. like here, you didn't, you wouldn't want to tear this little teeny section here. Right. So anyway, let me do, let me do, get in this bottom hole. Oh, see how it kind of like, as you work it, it kind of finds its place. Right. See how that yeah. center is starting to, yeah. I'm just, I'm just pushing both sides equally and I'm going to, there it goes. See, it goes up nicely and. Oh. Here, this one's going okay that's good okay okay i'm gonna oh here we go look Ooh. put it down just a little bit lower towards you there you go see i'm making the. we're making the um the dimensional part of it there we go whoops there we go see wow. Yeah, it, it, you have to you have to do it kind of slowly, and, and because you don't want your paper to tear anymore. And then you also you see I'm going to work that again a little bit. Uh huh. Let's see, my paper came off a little bit right here. I haven't used this cardstock before, so I'm going to. There we go. Oh, I just I get I get so excited when it comes together. <laughs> oh. So you glue, so you just glue that then, is that correct? Yeah, I'm just going to use a liquid glue for that. Okay. And then okay. the rest of it, the rest of it will kind of fall in place. It's and I'm gonna use um it's this is blue, so I actually um I printed, you know, light blue for the Ukraine flag, and and here are the sunflowers I'm gonna put all around to decorate this. Oh sweet. So Okay, so like if you're going to do something else important that we need to see so that people following who want to make it, let us know. But let's now go to someone else, okay. either Bernie or Stephanie. Okay. Who needs to show us what they're doing so we can make the same? <laughs> well, I'm just putting this piece on, but I'll show you. I've actually made my box um, and my chocolate bar is inside it. So I'll show you in a minute. I'll just layer this on. Um. So this is actually the front of the card. So it's it's actually a card look now. Oh. But when you open the top up, oh, look at that. A bar of chocolates inside. Oh my goodness. 
aren't these ladies creative, you guys? Oh my gosh. Uh, that just tucks in there now and then. Oops. So the, the I'm starting to layer up. Oops, I'm starting to layer it up now. So just pop that back in there. So he's going to get his chocolates and he's going to get his money and he's going to get his card all in one. Oh. I'll be a happy boy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's going to love that money. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be, a, yeah, I think that probably will be more. But as I say, then I can start decorating it on the outside and in the inside to actually make the card mm. now. Here we come, Bernie. <laughs> Oh, you're muted. Don't forget. I've had two um, two whoopsies this morning. I had this piece here, and I actually put glue all over the back when I only needed glue on that portion. Oh. That. Yep. So I had to cut a new piece, and I did it again on this one. You think I did oh. it the first time? So I've cut. So this piece here. I put glue all over the back of that and wow. I only need it on a part. So I've just um, I've now put some markers on the back and I know I can only put glue on. So this is on the back of this piece. So now I know I can only put glue on half of it. Mm. So, yes, you'd think I'd uh, remember the what I was doing, but no. <laughs> I'm very we excited. all do it. Yeah, right. And then this will go that way. And that's going, whoopsie, that will go that way. So it will only fold. Only half will be attached like that. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah. So then it all folds over on each other. So <sighs> we'll do the same with this one. I'll put it on and work out where my half line is on the back. I'm just drawing a line on the back and then putting glue only on half of that as well. And then that will go like that. All the same. So they're attached to this part. And then when the card folds over, look, it all goes like that. There we go. And now I'll decorate it. So I might on the back actually put my greeting while everything's flat and I don't have any embellishments on. So on my back, which will be that way, is the front. So it's going this way. I cut it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's upside down. Hmm. Oh, well. You know what? He can turn it over. That's going to be the wrong way. Oh, no. That's, that's okay. Oh, no, it's not. That's going that way. Isn't it funny when um, you're doing when you're doing it yourself and you're not on uh, on video? It always works out right, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Never fails. I don't really care that it's upside down. It's it's okay. I'm going to go with it. It's going to yeah. be a unique card. So it says on here. So these are some of the characters that I found on the Creative Fabrica link that Patty Ann's posted. So we've got a snorkel man and then we've got some fish. Um, I've got hope you have an amazing birthday and a crab and that's going to glue on the back. And then I, of the same um, glitter cardstock, I cut out a frame that will go around that. So I might glue the frame on. No, I'll glue this on first. So, yes, I forgot that it was upside down. So it's an upside down underwater card. It's okay. We we would have not known if you'd have not if you had told us. No, we wouldn't. Oh well, you will because when I show it, will be oh, we've got to turn the card over for the greeting for the. But that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Kid won't care. That's okay. I've got a little tip if you want to see it. You probably already all of you guys probably already do this, but. When I need to get into a really, really tight corner, I take my glue bottle and put a little dab of glue on it. You probably do this too. 
<laughs> and uh, let me see my tweezers. My, my reversible tweezers. Yeah. Take your tweezers. And I need to feed glue under this corner here. So I just put it on a piece of paper and then I kind of like use this as a paintbrush. See? This is this is my paintbrush. To get glue right where I need it. That is a good tip. I don't do that. I didn't know of it. Didn't think of it. Yeah. There. So you yeah. The rest of this card, the rest of this little box will just kind of go together. I mean, I, I folded all of the, um, all the line and let's see. Let me show you. Here, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to round these corners with a rounder. So, what if you don't have a rounder? Is it okay without? Sure, sure. Okay. Or you could just use a pair of scissors, or you could use something round to just, you know, okay. the corner of something. I mean, if you wanted it to be round, I just like, you know, I just like it just round. Like round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I'm also going to, after I get this together, I'm also going to, when I get the decorator paper on this, I'm going to where the box open and closes. I'm going to put a little. There's there's like a little little um, thumb. It looks like a little thumbnail cut, so that you can open it easily. But I'll mm. I'll show you that. I'll show you that when I come to that. Can you show us on the one that's right there to your right? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, that's a great idea, Patty. And see here it is back here. Uh -huh. See how it's like a little thumbnail. Yes. Okay. And. Just makes it easy to, to find where you're supposed to open it because you could actually with this with the way this uh this polygon kind of thing is uh is sitting on here you could turn your card this way and and finish it off this way you could turn it this way i mean there it's it's like multi-directional that's why i like it mm, so and uh, but i'm going to decorate i'm going to decorate this now so okay hey. If anybody wants to know the um, the sizes of these, um, I didn't put this on the um, piece of paper, the pattern, the template, but the little squares that go in these blocks, you, you need um, six squares that are one inch, um, one inch, one and three quarter inch squared. So it's one and three quarter inch squared. And then I put one and a half inch squared because I did some of them. I did two. I went, it was, it, excessive but I, I did two I, of them i don't understand so they're okay, supposed right, to let, let me show you it. yeah like squares that are one and three quarter inch square you see the, dark, oh, see you have double. See okay. the darker pink this is one yes. in, the darker pink is one and three quarter okay. inch squared and the um the confetti inside that's uh, so mm -hmm. that was uh i needed 12 little squares i needed six gotcha. that were one and three quarter square and Perfect. i needed six that were one and and uh -huh. half squared. Yeah. Okay, got it. We'll might add that to the info. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut these now. Okay. Thanks. I like your little bad that Stephanie. Oh That's my gosh, funny. she's adorable. She's got, <laughs> got black on. <laughs> Look at his little nose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought if it was um, a little grandson, I would have done something cuter, but he's older, so I don't think he would have appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby rabbit, so I thought. Oh, but he's a cute rabbit. He's still cute. Yeah. It's a teenager rabbit. That, that, <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I looked around. I thought, yeah, no, that's uh, that's going to be okay. And another one, creative fabric as well. <laughs> that's really cute. So I know that Easter comes from creative yeah. fabric because yeah. I was printing that with my little printer guy. Yeah, printer. Yeah. Stephanie reminded me of when uh, Ethan. I was with. I was taking Ethan one day to his uh, summer camp. He's my. He's sixteen now. But when he was yeah. younger, we passed. Um, we passed some uh, pasture of, of cows, and there were some. I thought they were calves in these like protected little. They all look like rubberized. Not. 
like little houses for these little cows. There must have been 20 of them. Oh, so I, yeah. said, I said, oh, Ethan, look at the baby calves. And he said, Mimi, they're teenagers. Oh, <laughs> <please>. <laughs> uh, when you say about babies, I remember my son, he's always correcting me with things. And I don't know what I said something about a baby duckling. He said, mother. <laughs> It's either a duck or it's a duckling. It's not a baby duck. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a, duckling, a duckling is a baby. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yeah. These little squares that I'm cutting, these one and three quarters, you can simply do it so easily on the um, silhouette, just a page of them. But uh, I'm just doing it like this because I didn't do it earlier. So those are your one and three quarter squares or your one and a half squares? These are my one and three quarter. Actually, I only need three of these. I'm telling you too many. I need three of these. I need, oh, six. Okay. I need six of these, actually. I'm sorry. I do need six. Okay, six. Okay. Six, six, six. Okay. All right. Bernie. We're oh, you're so cute. So oh. I made, these are all print and cut. So I these all came off Creative Fabric and my little... Uh, creatures um and then i just put them all on and print and cut and i'm just attaching them with some foam tabs or dimensionals whatever you want to call them and just to raise them up a bit and so this is all just oh that one's not very have to cut that what one. was wrong was it peeking out a little bit yeah it's popping out so because they're not going right up into the corners there we go oopsie and then they're just sitting all like that and then I've got two over here. I've got some, I think it goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah, that way. And then I've got another fish that's going to go there. And then I'll attach them. And then I've got a whole heap of um, other little things that I'm going to. So I print and cut that. Then I put some glitter. Um, oh, yeah. Little, yes, yeah. The little glitter yeah. on parts of it, like Nuvo Drops, but it's called. You call it something different. This is a an Australian version. It's called uh, it's called what are we called? Stick balls. Glitz. So I think you Stickles have you call it, yeah. yeah. So that's what is on parts of it, not all of it. And then this one's got it on some as well. So then I'll just use them to decorate. What is that? An anemone in the middle? Um, I think it might be a squid. Oh, a squid. Okay. I think. Could be. Yeah, I don't know. The little seahorse is cute. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think of a sentiment to put inside my card. And my husband usually comes up with some really good ideas. And I said, I don't know what to put. What can I put inside that for the money for Isaac? For Isaac? He said, I know what I'd put. I, I said, what? So I did that. He said, Bunny brought you some money. Oh. <laughs> Bunny brought you some money. Ha ha. Rhymes. <laughs> Now I'm going to put my about this my sentiment piece to the point. Here it is. That flower on your screen looks like it's frosting, Linda, and it's making me want some frosting. <laughs> oh, no. Look at it. Doesn't it look like something yum yum? Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that was made with the um, silhouette. Mm. It's that's a felt. Awesome. It's a felt flower. Oh, it's felt. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm. I made it so long ago. I don't like to. I don't like to throw things away that I like. Uh, <laughs> that box is really something. Okay. 
So I don't know if you're on Facebook, we can tell you how you'll be able to get the files for these things. Otherwise, maybe you want to um, pop us an email and I'll type it in your team, Patty and at gmail.com. Okay. And you can let us know, you know, which card you'd like or all three, whatever. The bunny's adorable. <laughs> I love the glasses, Janet said. Yeah, they are cute. Now. Ah, Janet wants to try Linda's box. I know, me too. I, it's so interesting how that pops out like that. I love it. It just and it just go. It you when you work with it, it just kind of goes where it's supposed to. And and you know what? When I was doing it by hand with a scoreboard, I it I didn't get nearly the the um, precise like the, ah. the cute. See, I mean, it really folded perfect. Well. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of that scoring with our um, silhouette. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is the part I've got to make this little triangle to my back on it. Like um, it yeah, you say it's so easy, but I was trying to make Tammy's card, the little um astronaut guy, little out of this you are out of this world guy, and I was having trouble. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't figure this out. I'm not real good at figuring things out. But you know what? I have you. You don't have me. I mean, I made it so many times there, Patty Ann. I mean, yeah. that's that's okay. the only reason I. You know, that's the only. I mean, when you do something a million times, you sooner or later right. you're gonna. Now, hopefully, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this was just my first time trying to do it, and I'm like, Tammy, I don't understand. I don't know how to where you put this thing. Blah blah blah. So I asked her, "Can you do a video of that part?" Because for me, and I'm gonna share it with everybody. So she's going to show it up close and personal, how to fold it and glue that part down. Because that card is really super cute, too. Oh, it's so, it's adorable. Yeah. I we'll love it. Um, I wanted to, you know, remember I showed you before we started, I, I just so you guys can, um, in your, um, you know, using your silhouette, you can just, cha you know, I, I, I printed this paper out this morning with my um, silhouette and I use the effects panel to um, make the um, wrong one, the yeah, sun wrong. Flowers. and uh, you really can't tell one line, but um, you see how brown the centers are. The other side, they're like orange. The brown, okay, I can see it now. It's a mm -hmm. lot, yeah, yeah. Actually, in, in person, the brown looks better. I mean, even though, even though it might be the other way around for some. Well, whatever you choose is the best, you know. Right. <laughs> Oh, geez. Tina's got to go. She says it's dinner time. She's got to run. Bye, Tina. Thanks for coming. Bye, Tina. Bye, Tina. I switched to a yellow box. <laughs> ah. Love it. Because I had already made like two or three blues, so I switched to the yellow to decorate. Hey, Stephanie, did you get a new background? <laughs> what well, he I like that. Yeah, is that it's, different. It's um, it's just contact paper. Um, oh, looks fabulous. Yeah, for sort of, I don't know whether it's a little bit light though, but no, I like it. Yeah. Crazy. It'll just wipe off easily then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
So next week, Stephanie and I have a craft along. Um, after we show the finished cards, we can show you a card that we'll be making. And oh my gosh. We'll send the file out. Patty will. And if you want to make it with us, come on. It's beautiful, you guys. So cute. And Tammy says it's easy. <laughs> it really is, isn't it, Stephanie? Yeah, very easy. Yeah. <laughs> the, I think the most time consuming thing is making all the flowers and cutting them out. But other than that, it's not hard at all. Here we go. I'm done. You got it? Ooh. I'm done. All right. So, you so the card sits like that. So it says, fantastic birthday wishes. And then it's just got the whole. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. So cute. And he's got, so, and then on the back where we turn it over, see, it doesn't look so bad there. It no, says, you don't even have to turn it around. Birthday. Yeah, so that's all you got to do is just turn it around rather than backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my finished. And then it'll, I'll make an envelope for it because it's a bit puffy because of the um, uh, dimensionals that I put on. Hey, Tammy Miller. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I love it. And that card design can be so versatile. You could make it any kind of card. Oh, I yeah. love that. Thank you, Thank you, Janet. Yeah, so it's um, this was my template. So I worked out how I was going to do it. So, yeah, you could put anything on it. You could put floral background here and you could have all different kinds of flowers. But that's just how the, that's how I worked it out, how it was going to work. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like it. And then so here on the because I was unsure of because it's a 10 by 5 and these are cut on the angle. So here you can I don't know if you can see my pencil marks. So I worked out that this square needed to be two and three eighths. This one needed to be two and a half. This square needed to be three and three eighths cut in half. And then these were one and five eighths. But that's all on. Um, on the file that I sent to Patty. So, yes, yeah, so you could do anything. You can put um, stripes. You could, yeah, it could be a man card, a female card. It wouldn't really matter. It's more about the mechanism. Mm. Nice. I love it. Thank you, Judy. It's so pretty. Oh, I love that blue, that glittery blue. It's yeah, really glittery good. blue, yeah. The, the vinyl was actually, I, I think it was much nicer, but it just, oh, man, the heat the heat just made the card buckle and warp, and it wasn't pretty mm. at all. Did you uh, use parchment paper on top of your vinyl? No, I didn't. I just used the straight press, so maybe that's yeah. where I went wrong. Yeah, next time try it with uh, parchment paper or okay. either the, um, what do you call it, the gold color I got? Uh, so the I'm going to time. make my card, and I know oh, that wow. it is, it's yeah. going to be seven inches from angle to angle. So there, I know there's some new people. I know there's probably our, our older people, our regular people are probably sick of me making the card, but uh, envelope. No. So no. for those that haven't, I'll fix that one up. It's annoying me. So this is my card faced this way. I'm going to work out, because I don't have an envelope punch, so I always make my own envelopes. Um, so you go diagonal to diagonal, and that's showing seven inches. But I need to cut a piece of paper that's eight inch square. So whatever the diagonal is, you can do it for a rectangle. You could do it for um, a circle. If you, For a circle, if you were making a roundish card, I would put it on my board here and kind of work out where the square was. So I don't know that I've got a circle here, but I can. I do have a. No, I don't have a circle. Um, oh, hang on. If I did say I was trying to make an envelope, this was flattish. I would put it on here roughly and work out that this is roughly from diagonal. If I made that, pretended that was a square to there to there. I would go from that angle to that angle 
and work out that it's six inches and I'd add an inch and then you'd be able to have a square card for a square envelope for a round card. Oh. So this is seven inch, so I need to cut this at eight inches. So I've just got my paper here. And then eight. Go back down, please, buddy. And then I've got my card here and I'm going to line it up just for my own sake, just so I know it's straight. And I'm putting it on the 15 line and the 15 line that way. And just so I know that it is, you don't have to do this bit, but I like to know that it's straight there, straight there. And then I might just come down one here. And so that's on the diagonal, it's the vertical, it's horizontal, it's straight and the vertical it's straight and then you just put your card now you could line it up really nicely it looks roughly to me like it's in the middle of my page so I've kind of got the same amount of space here 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 and here and then you just fold the paper up so I fold that one up and just finger burnish it and then there Turn it round and whoops, lift those sides up and the same here. So there's my basic envelope that I've done. I take my card away and then I burnish these sides again properly. So there, where it folded up, I'm just burnishing it so it's crisp. Uh, same here. And here, and then when I open the card up, um, you can see the little triangles here. I don't know if it'd be easier on this side. So you can see the card. No, it might be this side. I've got to cut those triangles away. So here I'm just going up to that and taking the triangle out and taking all four triangles away which is this is the part that if you do have a score uh, a punch board the the punch board does um there and there and there i'm now left with my piece of paper that looks like this and then I'm going to fold those two in and I'll put some tape. I'll put some tape on these two pieces. And this one. Take my tape backing off. And then I've got this, fold this up, and now I've got my, I probably put a bit too much tape there. Just peel it off. And there's my envelope and my card will now fit in the oops, in the envelope. And awesome. there's my envelope. It's cool. Okay, somebody said they saw you using snaps. Janet said she saw you using snaps. Were you using those today, Steph? Yes, I was making a little pocket for inside my card with the snaps. Oh. But I've changed my mind. I'm now doing a plain one because I never thought about it. When I did that and I put it inside here because it bulks out when you close the card, it's not folding flush. So I've decided not to put it in and to just do one that will just have a little flap over. So that means the card will fold completely flat. Oh, okay. 
as much as I like this, it's it yes. doesn't make that bit bulkier. If you'd have been on the front, it would have been okay, but it's it's the fact it's it's not going to close down properly. So I thought, no, mm. I'll um I don't want it sort of not closing properly. So mm. I'm just going to um put a, a little pouch in um that's not got poppers on. Maybe if I'd have used the Velcro, um, you know, the little Velcro pulleys, they're quite flat, aren't they? Right. That yeah. might, I think I have some of those. That probably would be better because that just does bulk out a little bit too much. And um, I can't have it not flat. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> hmm. and then I'm just going to get my um, punch that rounds the corners. See, this hmm. is just going to be a, a flat card. So the envelope now will fit in like that. <laughs> I'm just going to get my um, my rounders, my, my punch that will round it, and I'll just round the corners. Okay. What about you, Linda? Well, I'm, I just made some, I made my flower for the top. I used my, um, you know who told me about this tool? I know Stephanie makes these flowers too, and you do too, Tammy, but I just used this new, this tool. I got a set of four and it comes with a pad. And this product is by Abby Kristen Collect. It's called Abby Kristen Collections. And um, anyway, I just use one of the ball tips and, you know, really uh, press it down really, really hard so that, and I crinkled the, um, I, I, I did each petal while you got, while Stephanie was talking. And I, I made, um, I actually, ch I told you I changed it to um, a yellow box. I'm going to put this blue flower here. And then I made a little, I embossed this earlier. It says, just for you. Oh, pretty. Yeah, and I'm going to put that over top of a, um, a wall, um, one and a half inch circle and put it, put it where the, where the closure is for the candies. And then. I cut out like a bazillion of these, like, thank you so much, and a little <laughs> little um, arrows. So I'm going to put this, thank you so much, and I'm going to put that under here. I'll put this before we, you know, say goodbye. I'll put, and then, um, what else do I have? Um, well, hold on, one second. Oh, I know. Here it is. I've got this cute little, I think, I've shown you these before, these cute little teeny tiny um, buttons. Mm. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, that's going to go in the center of the flower. Oh, like, just to give it, I just love that look. Anyway. And then I'm going to fill it with you know what? <laughs> 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 Let's see how many we can fit in here today. <laughs> I wonder where the bag is. You can use fondant. Fond oh, that's a good idea, Joni. I don't you I don't make fondant. You were the baker, remember? <laughs> Tammy says, y'all are making me want to get into card making. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It sure is. Oh yeah. What's Stephanie doing? You still are baking, Joni? You still ba baking? I thought I saw Steph doing something over there. Yeah, I've put the pouch in. I've just used a um just a corner punch so that I've rounded the corners off so it look doesn't look quite as angular. And then over the top of it, I'm going to just pop this, which says lots of love. And that's just going to go across. It could just be stuck there, not obviously all the way. Right. Um, but... okay. And then it's almost finished. Hey, Bernie, we have a question. Yep. Did you make it out of car stock or paper? Today it's paper, but I have used cardstock as well. It's a thick, it's, this is quite thick, this piece of paper. I've got paper that I sometimes look at and think I'll use it one day and then I think I'm never going to use it, so I'll look for something that I like and it'll now become an envelope. And I don't mind that I'm wasting a piece of paper because 
I just don't mind. But no, this one <laughs> not quite thick. It's, um, but I have done cardstock before. It does add bulk. If you're going to post it, it does add, does add some weight, but I'm not posting this, so I don't mind. <coughs> You girls are awful chatty. <laughs> I keep putting mine on mute because of my visitors. I keep putting mine on mute. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we've got one that's you know banging the ruler and <laughs> don't we? <laughs> oh. Between Linda's chocolate and her <laughs> frosting flower. <laughs> Judy says, what a pretty box. It really is. I got to try that also. I hope I can do it. I'll help you if you can. How? From afar? Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> okay, four. Oh my goodness, maybe just five. Oh. Okay, five. I'm going to put five in here. Okay. Okay. So five trees. I think if I gave it to someone, I'd probably just put like three in here, you know? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so that's all. Can you put it on its side a little bit so we can see what that little jut out part? Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. And I just, you know, it's just hard to understand how in the world that works. <laughs> it is hard to understand. I 100% agree. It's that diamond shaped fold, that mountain, and then the valley. And the trickiest part of the whole entire project is right here in that corner where, mm -hmm. well, wherever the corner is, you can't see it. Uh, but um, I don't know where I put the corner. I can't even see where it goes together. Can you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know which I don't know which of the three points it oh. went together. Oh, here, right down here. That's where it went together. Well, yeah. Uh, How about wow. that? I didn't realize it. Ooh. But yeah, and um, this other one is really, really, really cute. This little project here, because you you just look see this this is this project with the three Hershey kisses. I like the I like the one that either the shiny paper. Like that, because you can really decorate this up cute. And I also like this. Remember, I remember that card I made for the last Digi Chicks, and I used that sublimation. I sublimated oh, yeah. the yeah. paper, and then I ironed it onto a piece of acetate. And that's a that's my leftover. So oh. I didn't, I didn't want to waste it. I found that on the desk somewhere when I was cleaning up my desk this morning. <laughs> And I thought, oh, that'll work. That's safe. That's good. So then I, yeah. But um, I really, I have to finish decorating this because this, I just love. And where are all my, where are my gold coins? Remember these gold coins? Yeah, that you cut in the bag. Yeah, I can't. I lost a bag. By the way, Judy says she loves the grandson money card also. <laughs> oh, I love that too. too. Money and chocolate. <laughs> can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Got that. So you done, Steph? Yeah, mine's finished now. Yep. It's so sweet. <laughs> so it's a hop yeast to grandson. 
if it wasn't the box it would just be a plain sort of card and i've obviously done the length and the width to make sure it fit the the, the chocolate inside so when he opens it up he know when he feels the weight of it that it's not <laughs> just a card but when he opens it up there'll be a little bunny lots of love his money will be inside here and then it says bunny brought you some money oh. um and then when he opens the top up he opens the top up and there's his, his chocolate so he'll get the chocolate and the money oh perfect <laughs> i could just break into that and eat it <laughs> oh i know oh yeah <laughs> So oh, that's his Easter card done. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, Steph. Yeah, I, love I could just do that chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it just pops in there like that, and then it's nice. What was the size of it again, um, Steph? What was the size of it? Um, it's the size of the chocolate bar. So I have to wait a minute. I'll tell you. So I obviously, if I'd have done a smaller chocolate bar, but it was it was quite a big bar. So it's eight inches in length. Wow. By four and a quarter inches wide. Oh, I yum. Actually, what I did actually with the chocolate bar to make absolutely sure I asked, I did this. I didn't just sort of, because, you know, you've got the packaging, haven't you? So what I did with the chocolate bar, I actually stood it on its end and squashed it down. Oh, that's a good idea. And it so that I could see, because you get, I knew that these would tuck in, um, you know, just to make sure it all fit in. Mm. That is so cool. Yeah, and I thought about it afterwards. Um, you could really it doesn't have to be that. It, um, it could be other other little things that you could win, couldn't you, for Chris uh, for for Easter or any time actually. You know, and use it sort of you know for a little gift inside. Mm -hmm. Oh mm. yeah, I mean you could even put a lady scarf or something in yeah. it for a birthday yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So. So that's my card finished. So mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, love nice. it. Thank you. Love it too. Mm. You're done, Linda? Well, I, I'm finished. I'm just going to start putting my, my gold and my, <laughs> my, my, my pot of gold. See? Oh. Yeah, I'm just about finished. I'm finished. I'm fi I, you know, I'm finished for today. And then I was going to put this little um, orange ribbon with polka dots that's going to go up here in the corner hmm. I think that'd be pretty. or maybe i should put a green one maybe i'll maybe i'll put you no know, this won't work hmm. I, you know you could actually put any color because the rainbow because the rainbow's right there hmm. yeah right what do you think yeah so you're gonna have the coins spill out on the right hand side then so. yeah they're they're gonna have a little pile of coins like next to it and oh yeah like, okay yeah and i'm gonna have the coins you know mm -hmm. like a pile of coins there and yeah mm -hmm. I, I love these little coins <laughs> they're so fun to make i'll just put them here and yeah Pain in the neck to glue down, though, right? I go really fast when I'm not nervous, cause I and I take and I don't just use this like sticky pickup tool. Then you could also use but you, your pokey tool with it. So I like like just pretend that this is going to be. So I would I would pick it up and then I would put it down with my pokey tool. Pick it up and then put it down. Yeah, but you don't have any glue on it. You have to stop it in your glue first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I would. That's what I would do. But I would. Okay. Uh, I would here. I'm gonna show. Pokey you. glue and oh, you're gonna put the glue on there. I'm just gonna put the glue here. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm just gonna use my pokey tool and then put it down. And then okay. pokey tool and put it down. And pokey tool. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You go really, really fast if you want. Okay. You just have to be careful not to get any of the glue on your shiny, um, because it's hard to get off. See, I was thinking I was gonna have to put every one of those things into glue. And didn't oh. even think to put the glue on the card. That's just how. I am. Well, we all, you would you would you would you would think of this after a while. After a while, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't think of it right away. I mean, I, okay. you know, I you, it just takes you know, you know. Yeah. You could also put the gold paper on some um, double sided tape, like a thick piece of, and then use the hole punch with the double-sided oh. tape and then you've got the sticky already there 
Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Wait, tell me that again. What do you do? Put the gold paper on some double-sided tape and then use your hole punch with the double-sided tape attached so you peel it off like a sticker. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, you could. That's a good idea too. Hmm. Oops, there we go. This room was so straightened right before Digi Chicks announced that my desk is just. <laughs> oh, anybody else? Anybody with me? <laughs> Linda, my room is always like that. It starts off tidy when I start making cards or anything. And by the end of the day, it's a total mess. <laughs> I get things out and think I'll use that, and then I don't use it. Or and yeah. You know, what's really crazy is when you get something out and like, you know, like these gold things that I punched out, I thought, oh, I just panicked. I thought, oh, where are those little gold coins? I just punched them. You know, I found them, but you know, I panic. <laughs> it's like, where are they? They disappeared. Hear me. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> I'm here. I'm watching Linda play with them gold coins. Oh. <laughs> I like Bernie's idea, the double-sided thing that would make it super easy. Yeah. There you go. Let's see. I, like I think I orange. like orange up there better. I do, too. I like yeah. the orange. Today. I think the orange is really bright. Really. I'm gonna, I, that's why I'm going to make the orange ribbon, right? right now. I'm just mm -hmm. going to just make that real quick. Oh, you make two loops. Huh. Do you see how she did that, Tammy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sneaky. Two loops and just make them tie. And then you just play with it until you get the size you need. Size you want, yeah. I'm not gonna confuse myself. I'm gonna stick with my little <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm making little maker. Yeah, I've That's tried that. Be... Linda's really good at that. I've tried it endless of times, and I cannot get it right at all. Oh. I, I do, I'm not dexterous enough to. So... Oh. <laughs> I get the two loops, and then when I try to tie it, see, it just I can't do it. Oh, this oh. is too big. Oh. Hmm. The only time I've managed to do that was when it was a really big bow. If it's a, how I don't know how Linda does it when it's small like that. Well, I'm <laughs> either. You've either had lots that... of practice, Linda. Or you're very dexterous. Hmm. And for those of you who are, who are new, Stephanie has a little trick that she does with her bows, in that she only buys white ribbon. Of course, um, Linda's is polka dot, but if you just wanted orange, you can color it with your markers and make it any color you want it to be or need it to be or if you have a little print maker you can just print anything you want oh that's true you can print anything you want on it you're right oh, that is so fun tell them that i, I, I love that thing yeah it I is expensive but uh yeah it's, but you know, uh, if you get it on ebay it's like 80 you can get it you can get a lot less expensive right but unfortunately for Bernie, it's like really expensive over there. It'll, it'll come. It'll go. It'll go down in price. But, for uh, me, it's really expensive. Yeah, it's like four hundred dollars or something, isn't it? You're yep. Not. Yep. It's it's yeah. the same here in the UK. I had to look, and they're really expensive. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I put three um, three glue dots on the back of my bows usually when I'm gonna. Well, oh, these don't look too cool. It looks perfect for us. Let me spot. Let me solo you because it looks really nicer. Let's see, what's wrong with it? All right, hold one sec. Let me just get okay. this. Let me get this one. See, I think. Don't you think the ribbon looks a little funky? I don't know. Can't see it too well yet. Why does it look funky? I don't what know. looks funky? I think it looks cute. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, just go with it. Okay, let me get the happy Valentine. I mean, happy Valentine's. I am like so behind the times. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to pop it up, but I'm not going to pop it up. Just for time's sake. Hmm. Even though I've got the pop-up stuff right here. There we go. Cute. Okay. Okay, we're talking. We're ready for candy. Oh boy. <laughs> here's more candy. So here's the trick. Here's the trick. If you make one of these little treat boxes, they're so, so, so simple. You start out like this mm -hmm. and you just decorate the top. And on the back, you decorate the middle. You can use designer paper for the top. Hey, excuse me for one, one excuse me for one second. Bernie said she has to take off because you know she's got the family there. Okay. And they're coming over for breakfast and whatnot. So let's spotlight her car one more time. Yeah. Okay, Bernie. I see you. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So that's my card. So it's fantastic birthday wishes. It's all aquarium. All of these things came from Creative Fabrica. This the little snorkel man came from a separate file, which Patty Ann's got the links to. And then they've got the glitter paper. I just print and cut all these things and put an offset around them, put a little bit of glitter on bits and pieces of them. And then um, on the back, we've got, hope you have an amazing birthday. Oh, cute. Beautiful. Adorable. So that's so, and so Bernie's like that. Yeah. I love so, it, Bernie. Thank you. Bernie's going to, has to go now because, you know, it's Monday morning there in Australia. So they're ready for breakfast. <laughs> oh, nice I'm ready for dinner. You. I'm starving. Thank you, Bernie. All yeah. right. Thanks, so Bernie. I'm about. <laughs> yep. Hey, so Molly and Jude. Yep. So Hi. Molly and Jude are going as well. So we're going to go Jude, out. Hi, Jude. Jude's going to put some clothes on and get out of his pajamas potentially <laughs> before our visitors come. <laughs> But uh, you've been on the YouTube with uh, your pajamas, so that's okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, and we will talk next time. Thank yeah, you, everyone. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Bye, See you, kids. <laughs> okay. All right. So, one more time, let's look at Stephanie's card. Right. So, it's Happy Easter, grandson. Open it up. He's got the little pouch that his money will go in. Bunny brought you some money, which my husband came up with the idea of that. And then, and I could eat it myself and then just undo the top. Whoops. I need my glasses on, I think, to see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, comes. Let me put my glasses on because I can't even, I've taken my glasses off and now I can't even see where the thing is to undo. Open it up. And there's his chocolate. So he's going to get his chocolate and his money. Yum. Oh, love it. It's so cute. It's adorable. I love okay. it. All right. Now, Linda, show your box. Here's my little box. My, um, yeah, Earth box. <laughs> I, from a, a, a ge I looked up a geode, and a geode is like a crystal that you find in the earth, but the center is hollow. And so someone had called this a geode okay. box. But it's kind of like a polygon, so it's a polygon geode cube, <laughs> whatever that means. And then it has the has a closure here. Here's the closure on the side, and then you open, and here are your treats. And like I said, I can get six in here, but I don't want to force it. But uh, then you can decorate this. You can even decorate another layer too, if you'd like. Um, yeah, because you see this one, I started with a cream colored box. Mm -hmm. I had the fuchsia pink and then I had the confetti. So that this was like a, a three, you know, a two tier mat. And I only did one here. So, and I did the little triangles. So here's, here's the one. And then I made the flowers. I tried to make them lifelike and the leaves. The I little, like how the flowers match too. You use the same uh, paper. That's really cool. Yeah. Ties it all together. Yeah, and there was some blue. Yeah. And then here's the other one that you just, just a little thing, a happy thing, St. Patrick's Day, little nugget treat, mm. uh, Hershey Nuggets treat box. And you can make this any way you want. You put balloons on it, or you can make a baby shower, anything you want. So it folds, it's really an easy, easy, quick gift to make. Fabulous. Okay. So those of you on Facebook will be letting you know how you can get the designs for free. 
And those of you who aren't on Facebook, if you want to email us at teampattyann at gmail.com and let us know that you'd like the cards files. So, so you want to come back now, Patty? Sure. Are you coming back? Yeah. <laughs> I got to figure out where. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I got to put on a jacket. It's freezing down here. Come back, we- girls. Chicks. Are we off? Now no. Come back. They're having as much trouble as I just did. There, (laughs) Stephanie. uh, Hi. There There she is. is. (laughs) So, um, one day this week, I can't remember what day did you think? Did you think, uh, Stephanie, what day was it? We thought Wednesday, didn't we? Wednesday. Is that all with you, Patty? Sure. So Wednesday, we'll be having a craft along, and we will be making this card. And here's the surprise. Isn't that beautiful? And they'll have the file for you also. So spread the word that they're going to help. Yes, please share that we're going to be doing this beautiful card. So cute. Fabulous. Love it. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. beautiful? Look at that. I, I, I wish I could come Wednesday. I'm going out to lunch with um, Kathy. Well, I'm sure that it will be videotaped, right? We'll be yes. taping yeah. it. So. It'll be on YouTube Live, so. Matter of fact, if you guys wanted to, you know, you can always do like I do sometimes and do it first and then watch it as a Premier? whatever you call it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If that would that. be more comfortable for y'all, whatever you yeah. want to do. Okay. Jo- Janice says, beautiful car. Joni said, yes, Wednesday. <laughs> and Jody loves it also. Which oh, which Facebook group? Uh, cutting up with Patty Ann, right? Isn't that where we put most of this? Yeah. yeah. Cutting up with most Patty of the cards. Ann. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we'll so, have that link for you down below this video after it finishes processing, too. Okay. All right. So, if that's all, then we will see you back here Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It's not before. Right. Be on, be on the lookout for, for our new videos from Patty. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. See all you all right. again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Joni. (laughs) Cutting up with Patty.